Whoa, look at that. It's remarkable that you can breathe here. Kane, what did you do, Tiesa? Predictions of what our first impressions are gonna be. Three, two, one. Thanks for tuning in. Our fun dreary week in Sedona came to an end, and we all had a couple days apart to run errands before we could reconvene. Bryce and I landed ourselves in Flagstaff, where we found all sorts of treasures. Bryce hit the jackpot with spotting an extra large, lonely stump. Are we taking that big log? Okay. Yep, we're getting free firewood. And it's gonna be our fourth passenger. Wow, look at that booty. And all right. Hopefully there's no scorpions. Okay. Never want to pass up on good hardwood. <laughs> and it quickly inhabited our home. We backed up for that. I'm saving like $10. <laughs> Kane maybe wasn't too keen on his new roommate. Although Kane did find what he had been missing on this trip. What did you find? Sand. Leave no trace. If you do need a wire buried though, we charge uh, 200 bucks an hour for him to dig trenches. Yeah, just because it takes him a long time and we want a lot of money. Yeah. Though his digging effort didn't seem to bear any gifts for us this time. Before the next leg of the journey, we made sure to get our stretching in and reorganize. It's almost as big as the bikes. So our fur passenger can ride comfortably once again. We then scouted out a blue van full of our friends and followed them to our next destination. On our drive, we were taken back by some of the features the landscape offered. This is making me dizzy. Oh. <laughs> I can only do it for a second and then I'm like terrified. Whoa, look at that. Wow. As well as some man-made structures. All right, we're in Page, Arizona. We are crossing a really giant bridge. Whoa. Oh, it's so Whoa. cool. Whoa! Look at that. Not Whoa. near as cool on camera. Wow, look at that dam. Look at dam! Damn! Damn. <laughs> Whoa! You can't get that, but that is... Man! Holy. Wow! I love bridges. Yeah, get excited for us. <laughs> You can walk across it. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my God, sorry, I got like really distracted there. You can rear end someone here. <laughs> okay, I just wanna look at it. Okay. We then finally made it to Lake Powell, which sadly more looked like the Sahara Desert since it was at a record low water level and completely dry around Lone Rock. We then had to scout the sand filled paths before committing to a spot we found the perfect one, and no one got stuck. The Van Trio was reunited at last. The dogs also had their pack to romp around with once more, and they all felt right at home. We spent our first night catching right back up with meaningful and fascinating conversations. My uh, upper thighs are starting to just, yeah, like there's no more up. hair? Yeah, 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 what happened? I don't know. I don't get it. Because I, I, it took me forever to get The next day was packed full of fun activities because we got to celebrate Amy's birthday. We started our morning out with peaceful and rhythmic yoga which helps set a relaxed mindset for the rest of the day. To continue the calm trend, we made quite the trek to the blue water. Not only did we get a good workout from the sand, 
some of us found an immersive experience with mud. Kane, what did you do to your dog? Dad is not going to be happy about this. <laughs> it was a great thing there was water to play and clean up in. Kane gifted Amy with birthday leans. <laughs> Happy birthday, Amy. <laughs> and Sarah and Banjo entertained us with a water show. Aww. He goes to swim next to you. You love him. Look at him. Though the water was frigid, we all made the best of it with attempting kayaking, running along the bank, and bathing in the sulfur mud. Plus some exfoliation, come to Lake Powell. <laughs> we pulled ourselves away from the water enjoyment and made it back up to our homes where a delicious vegan meal was served. Oh my gosh. Sarah and I created a harmonious meal we still crave for till this day. After, we all gathered around our extremely large screen and patiently watched to see if Amy and Caleb's team made it to the next round in the NCAA tournament. However, we won't relive the outcome for their sake. The celebration continued with fire chats, vegan cheesecake, and of course, dancing lights. After a night filled with memories, the next day we prepared ourselves physically and mentally to be American tourists. We have only seen Horseshoe Bend from textbook pictures, so we were unsure of what to expect of this American beauty. Okay, we're gonna go see Horseshoe Bend, and we're gonna give our predictions of what our first impressions are gonna be. Three, two, one, crowded. Breathtaking. <laughs> <laughs> you can already tell there's a million people here, so it's, it's gonna be a, just a, a touristy thing. Yeah, That's it's, okay. It's gonna be crowded, be breathtaking. Yeah. Okay, well, we'll go see it. The view of the thousand foot deep canyon was spectacular and nothing like we have ever seen before. But we would be lying if we told you we didn't feel overwhelmed by the loud crowds surrounding us. So we will let you enjoy with serenity. Once we were done basking in the beauty, we wanted to continue the trend of feeling like we were out of this world and hiked to find some toadstools. A recommendation from Sarah. Bryce finds a hole in the earth, instantly intrigued and wants to see it. <laughs> Oh shoot. This landscape was intriguing. From its soft color gradient soil to the wind cut spires. The environment felt celestial and unrecognizable to our eyes. So it was easy to imagine we were walking on Mars. What does it feel like to be the first man on Mars? Uh, about like you would expect. Um, it's remarkable that you can breathe here. Yeah, oxygen is crazy. There's even plant life. Yeah, and there's other people. Whoa, extraterrestrials you mean. Yeah, I'm really surprised, but when I was reading my popular science from 2005, they said that we were gonna be on Mars 
by the end of the decade and here we are. Yeah. We, we made it. <laughs> Kane also felt like he was out of this world and he enjoyed his time exploring with his parents. We returned back to our Earth reality and realized we needed to scout out our next camp spot, which proved to be more challenging than anticipated. This was our first encounter being in the boonies with trying to find somewhere reasonable to park with decent service for Bryce to work the next day. So far we have learned that Utah just has back roads Endless cattle roads, I'm convinced. <laughs> and it says there's camping, but we can't find any. Yeah, there's no one out here. Uh, we saw a trailer house, but it ended up being at a cattle watering hole. Yeah. So we just keep driving down these roads. This is like BLM gone wrong. Uh, we just keep waiting to find a place with service that we can park at. And uh, we have not struck gold yet. Oh, this is cool. Oh, that's deep. Whoa. Wow. And the road is like super smooth and satisfying, so we're both just kind of like, well, let's just keep going. Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> we will let you know if we find a camp spot. We won't. No, I'm kidding. We're gonna. We were fortunate that the roads weren't as terrible as last time. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. And Bryce got to practice driving in reverse down Jeep roads. We thought we could find a camp spot on this uh, road. And it looks like we found a new driving technique. It's called backing out. Bryce was able to back out a half mile. There were a lot of potential spots with gorgeous views. However, the cell service was non-existent. What we thought would have been a 30 minute adventure turned into three hours. But we were not disappointed with the sunset. Look at that awesome sunset. It's so pretty. So what are we doing, Jen? We're still driving to find a meal and spot to camp. Not that we didn't find any spots. Uh, we did, but there was no service. And maybe it was a sign so we could see this really awesome sunset. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's so awesome. So yeah, we keep heading more north, trying to find spots with service. Right now we're outside of Nap. Did I say that right? Uh, yeah, Nap. 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 Something like that. Wow. Wow, that is unbelievable. Our day did end with success because we found the perfect spot. We learned having patience can reward you in the best ways. Come join us next time to enjoy this new location with us. See if Kane is nice enough to let us back into our van. Move this way. Kane's sitting on the keys. Come on, buddy. Hey, you gotta keep Come moving on. around. Come on. Unlock the door. Come on. And explore the orange sandcastles of Bryce Canyon. Thanks for watching, and we can't wait to see you then. Did it? What? What? Was it not? Oh. Okay. I don't want to redo it. No, you have to. <laughs> okay, we did it. We found a spot. It's freaking epic. Yay! We'll show you yeah. tomorrow when it's light out. Yeah, I did take a video though when it's dark. Well, you don't have to show them. That's true. <laughs> okay, bye.